Oh, okay. A happy Monday. Oh. I hope everyone had a great weekend. But we've never talked about Pilates. We always talk about yoga therapy and some of the other exercises. But this is the first time we have a Pilates instructor, Sunny. Sunny is joining me from Las Vegas. She has over 20 years of being a Pilates instructor. And we're going to learn from her what is Pilates and what are the benefits. So welcome, Sunny. And thank you so much for joining us. Hi, nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, benefits of Pilates. Well, it is um, stretch, strength, and control all in one. So you will get, uh, we work on posture, we work on symmetry, uh, it, we work on balance, um, flexibility, the spine, a healthy spine moves in and out of flexion. So you need to be able to get tall, you, people need to be able to hold their self up while they even twist to look over in the car, see who's driving behind you. You know, you have to be able to function in your life. Um, uh, Pilates is good for anywhere from the super athlete to the fragile flower. There's something for everybody. There's a fallacy that Pilates is, uh, classical Pilates, which is what I teach, has no modifications or variations. And I wanna call baloney on that one because we take everybody, how do you walk in the door today? How do you feel? Even a super athlete sometimes had a bad night and didn't sleep well and their neck is tweaked. Then we take that person on that day, maybe he doesn't get all the super advanced exercises. Maybe we do uh, something that addresses for the personal needs section of the workout. We address you know, the neck thing or whatever. If somebody has a shoulder thing or an arm thing, you know, we are very careful. We don't work through pain. Uh, if somebody has that kind of issue or injury, we always get doctor's permission first before we do things. We don't fix people. We help them heal. We are on your journey with you um, to make you stronger. So people who are old like me can get down on the ground and play with the grandkids. Or if you're younger and you're, a, and you're an athlete, tennis player, you get better at your sport. Um, so those, those are, I would say, some benefits. We work on symmetry. So sometimes people walk like this, you know, they have a shoulder lifted or they wear their kid, they take the kid on the hip all the time and then they are cockeyed. And so we work on getting, switch your stuff to the other side every now and then. Um, uh, so benefits are stretch, strength and control. So everything that moves, moves from a strong foundation, from a strong center. The difference between yoga and Pilates, which is often a question I get, is Pilates has a, a, a set repertoire for the most part. Uh, it varies depending on the person and their ability. Um, and, and we have, Matt Pilates is just a part, a, a full studio. I have a full studio here. Uh, Pilates done in a full studio is the way it's mostly done. So Matt Pilates was given his homework by Joe Pilates when he had, when he was alive, he gave everybody their mat exercises. That was your homework. And you do your homework and then you come into the studio and you work out on the apparatus. The apparatus was developed to make you better at your mat work. So the springs are not so you can be great on the springs and do all this gymnastic stuff. It's so you could be great at your mat work, which is more similar to yoga, I would say, because they're both done on a mat. It's just you and a mat. Uh, and it's the hardest work because there's no assistance or resistance from the spring. So you have to develop all that in yourself. Um, he called it Contrology. And then when he died, they called it Pilates after his name. Let's see. You asked me a couple more questions, only I forgot what they are. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think uh, uh, we just wanted to understand, like, uh, you know, the research on Pilates uh, with certain health ailments. Or, and also weight loss, you know, we, there's a myth, right? We, all, we always think all the exercise, we can lose weight. Is that the case or not? And, and then what is Pilates good for in the sense, as far as the health ailments, right? Okay, uh, Pilates for weight loss. So any exercise, muscle eats fat for lunch is the way I see it. Um, muscle is like a little Pac-Man and here's fat sitting over here. And the more muscle you have, the more it eats up the fat and the fat goes away. Um, people might weigh more because muscle weighs more than a pound of muscle is heavier and denser than a pound of fat. 
So, um, uh, but you'll look better because you'll be more streamlined and longer and leaner. But Pilates as a weight loss method, I wouldn't say it is that, but as like exercise, all exercise is good for weight loss. It's consistency. Within 10 sessions, Joe said, Joe Pilates said, in 10 sessions, you will feel a difference. In 20 sessions, you will see a difference. In 30 sessions, other people will ask you, what have you done? I tell them I waxed my mustache. But, <laughs> but um, you will see, you will stand taller. You will have, you will move differently. Joe studied animals and babies to see how do they move. Animals don't rest. They rest, they sleep, ready to go. You are ready to go all the time. And so uh, his a lot of the work is in that. As far as for uh, rehabilitation type things, it can be used rehabilitatively. There was a famous teacher, Eve Gentry, and she had breast cancer and she had double radical mastectomy. And Joe worked with her until her lats came forward and, and uh, worked as pecs to get her body to work again evenly and strong. And there's videos of this even without her having a shirt on, what she looked like before, you know, after the mastectomy and how she looked after, very strong and, you know, powerhouse woman. So Pilates has um, a lot of variations that can be used to help people with certain issues and situations and injuries. I broke my knee. I worked out on this electric chair that you know, I don't think you can see in the picture back here. It has the, let's see, it has the strongest springs. I don't know if I can get it into the picture here. That tall chair that has the picture of the sunflower on it. Um, this one here, strongest springs in the studio. I put my knee back together using that. Um, I broke an elbow skydiving, doing Pilates. You strengthen all the supporting areas until the area that's injured can come back into the workout. So you don't just leave it out. You do, you support and strengthen all the supporting areas until you can fully function again. So I had a screw in my, in my, in my elbow all the way through here and the screw is out now but I wasn't allowed to, you know, you're not allowed to do anything. And then slowly, 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 you get it back. I have full function. I can do handstands now, you know. Um, I'd broken my right ankle skydiving again, uh, a plate and seven screws. My right foot that had the broken ankle works better than the left one. Pilates. Um, I have I'm downsizing from giant dogs. I had great gains and I had four or five great gains at once. If I didn't do Pilates, I wouldn't be able to handle all those big animals. Um, I play with my grandkids on the floor, rolling around. You know, they think I'm a toy. I'm 66 years old. <laughs> you know, show me the other 66 year old women who are out doing this and it's Pilates. So it keeps you young. It keeps you able to live your life off the couch. I'm a firm believer in the magic. That's, the, I think I, that's, that's beautiful. That's really beautiful, Sunny. Uh, can you show us a small demo, like a 20 second demo with some spring or something out there? Is it possible or is it too hard? I can show you. Well, this tiny demo here. Uh, So the arms press in here, the feet are here, and you stretch out and resist in. And then circles. So the goal is both legs meet together at the same time. And the springs don't shake. If you see this going on in the springs, that means you're not controlled inside your body. So the springs wrap you out. To advance it in the air. Same stuff. So small demo. No, I think I think that this this works. And so 
if we have to do at home, we have to go in a gym to do Pilates, like we need this equipment or is it like yoga that you can do something at home? Or, uh, well, or like I was saying before, there's um, mat work. I mean, the system started with 34 mat exercises. And so you go through the mat exercises, but first you build the strength to do them because they're challenging the, you know, uh, but to learn it, but to learn it, you can go here in the studio or you can hold on your legs here. How far back can you go? And then you add resistance and come back up. You know, you build the strength. So, because if you lay down on a mat, if you're not used to doing this, sometimes you can't get your upper body up. Or sometimes your upper body comes up, but your legs fly up off the mat. And your legs need to be pressing down to leverage your upper body up and over. So, okay, things like that. Yeah. Sure, but I have an 80... I have an 87 year old client. She can't do a roll up. She's 87, you know, but I can give her this and she can still do it. You know, there's something for everyone. This is great. This is great. We just wanted to bring a quick 10 minute session, 10 to 15 minute session to just give an intro of Pilates and how it can help all of us. It sounds like a lot of strength training. You said that, that using, uh, you know, some of the equipment, and, and we have a lot of research that talks about the strength training is very helpful, even for diabetes. We don't have time to go into that. Or a lot of osteoporosis, like you and I were talking about earlier, and some of the other ailments, right? Right. Well, everybody has a door or a wall they can stand against. For osteoporosis, the biggest thing is posture and standing tall. So I give wall work. Everybody has a wall. You don't need to come into a studio for that. Everybody has a, a chair they can sit in. And they don't slump back like this. So you have to learn to sit tall. So we practice doing functional things so that people take it out into the world in their life. You know, it's not just come in, let me do my hour of Pilates, and then I'm going to go back into my world right here. You keep that tall with you. And we work, you know, one leg or the other, balance, because balance is very important for osteoporosis. You know, if you fall, you're done. Right? So we prevent falls. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Annie, for being with us. I really appreciate your time. To everyone else, keep supporting us. We are coming up with our app pretty soon and our platform, making it accessible and affordable for everyone. Thank you so much for supporting and uh, for your support. You, you are very welcome. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Bye-bye.